Hello everyone! In this second multi-step equation video, we will continue with our mnemonic to help us remember the steps in solving. I recommend you watch the first video for better understanding, but I'll quickly recap now. Remember we have panda takes fish skating. The P in panda stands for parentheses, the T in takes stands for tidy up, the F in fish stands for fix X, and the S in skating stands for solve. Once we've taken care of the parentheses, the tidy up, and the fix x, we have a two-step equation that we can solve very easily. In this first equation, we see that negative 6 is in front of the parentheses, so we need to distribute it. We need to multiply it times 5 and times negative 3y. This will give us negative 30 and positive 18y. On the left-hand side, we have 24. So we've gotten rid of the parentheses. As far as tidy up, we have 24, negative 30, and 18y. So that's tidy. We don't have to simplify. And we don't need to fix x because there's only one variable here. So we proceed to solve. We add 30 on both sides. On the left-hand side, we get 54. On the right-hand side, we get 18y. Now we need to divide by 18 on both sides. And 1y will be 3. At this point, we can take our solution, substitute it into the original equation. We will take negative 6 and multiply it times what's in this parentheses. So first, negative 3 times 3 will give me negative 9. I have 5, but I owe 9, so I owe 4. This will be multiplied by negative 6 to give me 24. So we solved it correctly. This is our next example, and we can see a bunch of numbers, parentheses, negatives, and a common error that is often made is that students subtract 22, take away 5, and get 17. And that is not what we should have done first. The first step is to distribute always. We need to multiply negative 5 times 6 feet and times negative 1. So we're going to start over. We will distribute first. But notice 22 is not affected by this. We will write it the way it is underneath and we will multiply. We'll get negative 30v and plus 5. The rest of the equation stays the way it was. We've gone rid of the parentheses. Now we need to tidy up because we have 22 and 5. We need to simplify or put these two together. They will give us 27. The rest of the equation stays the way it was. So we've tidied up. We don't need to fix x because we only have one variable in this equation, so we proceed to solve. We'll subtract 27 from both sides. On the left-hand side, we are left with negative 30v. And on the right-hand side, we have negative 90. At this point, we divide by negative 30 on both sides. On the left-hand side, we are left with 1v. And on the right-hand side, we are left with 3. Here's our next example, and we see right off the bat there's no number in front of the parentheses, so we should assume it's a 1 and distribute. So we will multiply 1 times each of these terms. The 5, remember, is not affected. So we will multiply 1 times 3 and get 3x and 1 times negative 4 and get negative 4. So we've gotten rid of the parentheses. At this point we need to tidy up because we have 5 and negative 4. So that becomes 1. The rest of the equation stays the way it was. So I've tidied up. I don't need to fix x because there's only one variable in this equation. So I proceed to solve. I subtract 1 from both sides. On the left-hand side, I have 3x. On the right-hand side, I have 15. Then we will divide by 3. And x will be 5. At this point, we can check. Substitute our solution into the original equation carefully. So we will take 5 and add it to 
3 times our solution, which is 5, and subtract 4 from it first, do all of that. That will give me 11, which I add to 5, and I see it gives me 16, so we've solved it correctly. In this next example, we also see that there's no number in front of the parentheses, so we assume it's a negative 1, and we will distribute carefully. The number is not 3. 3 is not affected by it. We get negative 2x and negative 1. The rest stays the same, so we've gotten rid of the parentheses. Here, I need to tidy up because I have the 3 and the negative 1. So those are going to simplify to give me 2. The rest of the equation stays the same. So I've tidied up. I don't need to fix x because I only have one variable in this equation, so I just proceed to solve. I subtract 2 from both sides. On the left-hand side, I'm left with negative 2x. On the right-hand side, I'm left with 12. At this point, we divide by negative 2 on both sides, and so x will be negative 6. At this point, I can check carefully. There's a lot of signs and numbers here, so we have 3, and we're going to subtract 2 times our solution, which is negative 6. Then we're going to add 1 to it. So this will give me negative 12 plus 1, which gives me negative 11. We have the 3. Remember, the minus with the minus will give me a plus for the 11. So we get 14. So we solved it correctly. So in this example, we see two parentheses. So we're going to distribute carefully with each number in front of each parentheses the numbers that it corresponds to. So 2 times 3 is going to give me 6, and 2 times x will give me 2x. Negative 3 times 8 will give me negative 24, and 18x. So I've gotten rid of the parentheses. In this case, I really have to tidy up, because I have 6 here and negative 24. Together, they're going to combine to give me negative 18. And then I also have to tidy up the 2x and the 18x, which will give me 20x. So now I've simplified everything. 42 is over here. So we've tidied up. We don't have to fix x because there's only one variable in this equation. So we just proceed to solve. So we will add 18 on both sides. On the left-hand side, we are left with 20x. On the right-hand side, we get 60. At this point, we divide by 20 both sides, so 1x is 3. Now we're going to check. The challenging part will be to fit this all in here. We're going to take 3 wherever x is. So we have 2 times 3 plus this 3, which was our solution, and I'm going to subtract 3 times 8 minus 6 times this 3. Well, 3 plus 3 gives me 6. I'm going to multiply it by 2, so I get 12. I'm going to leave that there. And then 6 times 3 gives me 18, but it's negative 18. 8 minus 18 gives me negative 10, which I multiply by negative 3. That gives me positive 30 which I add to the 12 from before, and so I get 42, which is the answer. We've solved it correctly. This is our last example, and we're going to have to distribute carefully here in the first parentheses and in the second parentheses. So 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times negative 4x is negative 16x, this negative 2 is not affected. This 2 over here is not either, but I get negative 18x and positive 24. So we've gotten rid of the parentheses. Now we need to tidy up. I have this 4 here with this negative 2. That simplifies to give me 2. The negative 16x is okay. I have my equal sign. And on the other side, 
I'm going to group those two numbers to give me 26. So we've tidied up. At this point, we have x's on both sides of the equation. Look, negative 16x and negative 18x. I'm going to do the inverse of subtracting 16x, which is to add 16x on both sides. On the left-hand side, the x's are going to go. I'm left just with 2. And on the right-hand side, I have 26 minus 2x. So we've fixed x. Now we're going to do inverse operations. I'm going to subtract 26 from both sides. On the left-hand side, I'm going to get negative 24. And on the right-hand side, I'm left with negative 2x. Now we divide by negative 2, both sides. And x is equal to 12. To check this, we're going to need a whole new slide. So we're going to place 12 wherever we see x. And in this case, we're going to multiply negative 4 times it. So we're going to get negative 48. And within this parentheses, we have 1, take away 48. So we're going to get negative 47. And we have to multiply this by 4, which is way up there. Look. And when we do that, we get negative 188. And from it, we need to subtract 2, which was way up there. So I owe 188. I owe 2, which means I owe 190. And we're going to leave this here, see what we get on the other side. Hopefully, it'll be the same. 6 times 12 gives me 72. In this parentheses, I subtract 8. That will give me 64. But we multiply by negative 3, that's in front of the bracket, this gives us negative 192. And then we have our 2, which was being added to it. So I have 2. I owe 192. So I owe 190. They're the same. So we've solved it correctly. Subscribe to my channel to get updates on new videos. And if you'd like me to create more, like and share with someone who might find this helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.